Blender is a powerful 3D software that allows us to create anything from simple objects to hyper-realistic characters and even stunning environments. But no matter how complex a 3D model is, its foundation always comes down to one thing which is topology. Think of topology as the skeleton of a 3D model. Just like a well-constructed building needs a strong framework, a well-made 3D model also relies on clean and efficient topology. Without that, even the best-looking 3D models can fall apart which can lead to weird shading, bad deformations or even performance issues in games and animations. And so in the first chapter of the Blender 3D Topology course, we'll first understand about the meaning of topology, the two main types of modeling and at the end of this video, I'll also give you a full breakdown of this course structure so you would exactly know what you'll be learning from each video. By the time you've finished this course, you will not only understand about topology but will also be able to apply it effectively in your own projects whether you are making 3D models for games, for animation or just for creating high quality renders. So to begin with, in the context of 3D models, topology refers to the geometry surface characteristics of a 3D mesh. The layout of the vertices and edges of a mesh play an important role in deciding whether a particular mesh object is considered to have a good or a bad topology. While on one hand, there are many aspects defining what a good topology is and which are also universally agreed upon. But on the other hand, there is no true industry standard or a fixed set of guidelines that a 3D artist needs to follow when arranging the topology of a mesh. As a result, instead of explaining the so-called rules of topology we'll be going through four to five good examples of 3d models and during the journey of creating these 3d models we'll continue to understand about the different concepts related to topology the mistakes that you need to avoid and many other tips that can convert even a simple model into a professional one simply by making some changes in the topology before moving to the core structure let's also look into the two types of modeling that are prevalent in 3d industry the first type is called the hard surface modeling which is a 3D modeling technique used to create machines, vehicles, weapons and other non-living objects with hard and static surfaces. The second type that we have is organic modeling and it is the opposite of hard surface modeling. This one deals with things such as plants, 3D characters, animals and generally other living things. In fact, the Suzanne or the monkey object that is available in Blender is also a typical example of an organic model. Now the best part of this course is that we'll be covering topology in terms of both the modeling types that is the hard surface modeling also and the organic modeling also. This complete course will be having a total of six sections and in each section we'll have a particular number of chapters. For example, the first section has just one chapter which is this current video that you're watching explaining you about the basics of topology and the course structure. Then we'll have the second section where we'll model a sci-fi pistol that will make us understand about most of the 3D modeling tools and techniques and you will also be understanding about exactly how the hard surface modeling is done. Then in the section number 3, we will be discovering some more topology techniques. In the section number 4, we will be modeling an open book and during that modeling process, we will be covering the usage of the subdivision and how it affects the topology. Then in the section number 5, we will model a sword in Blender and then we will also use it to understand about the topology and how it is done. And then at last we'll move to the section number six where we learn to model a character head and in this way we'll also be covering the second main type of modeling that is the organic modeling in the next video we'll be starting with the section number two of this course where we'll begin with creating the basic shape of a sci-fi pistol and yes if you want to master blender in the best way then do check out these courses available on this channel by using the links given in the description and the pinned comment so don't forget to subscribe to this channel press that notification bell so that you can get time the updates about the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.